大家好，我叫何丹，我来自索马里，我现在是浙江师范大学非洲研究院的研究人员。I went to China as just a, a young student, fresh out of high school. I was excited about the language, I was excited about the new culture, so I spent a lot of time and effort to understand it. After my graduation, being offered uh, this job at this think tank, for me it was actually amazing. But they saw something. They saw something that is able, that is that understands their own culture and their own understanding of issues and that is able to communicate to them in a language that they understand or in a context that they understand what they need to know, the knowledge gap that right now exists in China with regard to international affairs or with regard to African affairs and African cultures. So that is my personal contribution to China. quite interesting to discover the stories of other people uh, who sometimes come from the same country that I do or come from the same region that I do and how they, what issues that they face uh, in China and how they adapt and how they uh, learn to navigate through these uh, complications. Migration is actually one of, the, one of the best things that could happen to any given country or any given society. When we look at the U.S. today, what is the U.S. made of? It was made of a migrated population, originally from Europe, but then from all over the world. And then it gradually became what, one of the greatest countries in the world. In some societies, we might see them as burdens that are stressing our resources. But in another sense, they are providing something that we didn't have. They're providing knowledge. They're providing a diversity of culture. They are, divide, they are also providing a, a human force that is able to contribute to the local economy. However, they need to be accepted first. They need to be accepted as human beings who, just as they are able to stress, they are also able to contribute in a larger way to that society.